the department, uh, we teach a range of subjects uh, from the straight computer science uh, to the specialist like computer games and network computing to the more business oriented like the uh, information technology for uh, business management and uh, what's sometimes called the specialist computing like software engineering. Um, we take students in at foundation and undergraduate and postgraduate and we also do have a, a strong research uh, community in the department as well. Can I give a, an overview of the course structure? Well, the simple answer is both yes and no because it actually varies according to which course you're doing. In the first year, you will be taught more or less the same thing. There are two specialist uh, fields, uh, information technology for uh, business and management uh, and network computing, where instead of taking the standard modules, you will do uh, ones related specifically to those uh, programs. You will still, however, do the core modules on what a computer system is and how it works, what programming is, how you program, and a basic maths module. In your second year, we still have a strong core element. So we have things that we think every student should know. Uh, every student should be aware of the professional issues in their discipline. Every student should be aware of what a computer can do and what a computer cannot do. Uh, every student should be able to carry out research. So we have modules covering those that are core to those modules, uh, to, to those programmes. Other modules you'll do will depend on what your speciality is. Computer science can do modules from most fields, not all, but most fields, uh, but the, all the other fields have their own particular specialities, uh, modules which they have to do. If you go out in placement, that's your third year, otherwise you'll come back for your third year. Your third year, there is only one module that all students have to do, and that is your dissertation. You have to take undertake a substantial piece of work relating to your course. This is a, a really exciting undergraduate programme that we've got here. Um, it's endorsed by eSkills UK, who are the National Sector Skills Council for uh, IT and telecoms. And what they've done is brought together a number of employers, um, over 60 international companies now, um, and asked them exactly what they want from their IT graduates. Um, and based on the answers to those questions from the employers, we've now got a course which we can guarantee is precisely what's needed out in the industry. So those employers are now actively supporting the course. We've been running it for seven or eight years here at Oxford Brooks. Um, they support it in a variety of ways, but the, especially the students are getting uh, hands-on experience of dealing with customer requirements, entering competitions that the employers are setting us. We have a set of guru lectures run um, during semester time, uh, broadcast from one of the participating universities to all of the others. And those, uh, those uh, events are a really good way for our undergraduates to find out what's going on in the industry before they actually get there. Although those companies don't guarantee employment for our undergraduates, what they're doing is continually enhancing the skills uh, of the students, and particularly the skills that they know are in demand. So it's, it's, it's a win-win situation. I hate to use that phrase, but it really is. The employers are getting exactly the kind of students that they want. And because they're putting in time and effort to get there, um, the students are actually getting those skills just by being a, a part of the course. So, for example, um, lots of our students on ITMB will get placements, not necessarily with the ITMB supporting companies, but just because they know the kind of things, how to answer exam, uh, how to answer interview questions, for example, um, what 
kind of skills to emphasize when they're when they're talking to employers and a lot of them have actually had experience of being interviewed by the employers uh, as part of our competition days and our and our events um, we have companies coming in for example to give our students uh, practice assessment centers so exactly what would happen to them when they go out uh, to one of these companies uh, for a day's assessment centre. We run here in Brooks so that the students are getting practice, they know what's going to happen to them so they're, so they're uh, more secure in, in the event, but they also know what the employers are looking for. So it's, it's what the head of the, the employer consortium calls an unfair advantage, and it, it is an unfair advantage. What we try and do with all our courses is to make sure that students have project experience which they can use for getting a job um, when they go for interview and things. They can quote projects that they've worked on, but also which give them experience they can actually start using as soon as they get out there on, on, on the job. Um, so for example, in the first year, as well as the programming modules which we give them, um, which contain smaller projects, but we're, we're really after teaching them um, programming skills at that level but in the first year as well as that we give them a much larger scale project where they're looking at solving a real world business problem for a, usually for a fictitious company but they're working in teams they're applying the uh, technologies that they've already learned to providing a solution to the customers and they actually get practice in presenting those solutions communicating the technical elements of those solutions to non-technical experts um, which is really what they have to do when they get out into the workplace. So it, the project work is very important in the first year. Um, we, we continue it in the second year, um, so several modules will pick up this, this group work theme. Um, we teach them a variety of development methods uh, which are always team based when, when you get out into industry. So, so they practice that, they learn the technology and they learn how to apply it as part of a, a project team. Um, and then in the final year, they get a chance to execute their own individual project, which is something that they have probably picked up an interest on in the, in the first and second year. Maybe they brought some experiences back from their placement year that they want to develop as part of their final year. And we really try and give them a, a, a good experience of that final year project, because typically, um, when they go for interviews for graduate jobs, that's one of the first questions they get asked. Computing and communication technologies all emphasize this, this element of project work and uh, an extremely common interview will be, what, what are you doing for your final year project? So we want them to be able to answer with enthusiasm, um, we want them to, to be able to demonstrate a, a, an expertise of their own that they've developed through the taught modules and one which they can use to impress employers and, and generally they do impress employers. IBM for example come in um, and they have been doing this for a number of years now for to give our students practice at their IBM assessment centre exercises so that they uh, they send in four or five members of staff for a whole day uh, and, and give our students a really good opportunity to, uh, to practice these skills and that's really invaluable. Um, SAS are a local company, they're, they're based down in Marlow um, and they have encouraged and supported us in becoming a member of the SAS Academy. Uh, they're, they're giving um, a lot of time and effort yeah, and support in allowing us to develop a specific module in business intelligence programming which we're very excited to be running for the first time in February um, and they are going to certify our students at the end of that so they will be certified in what is actually a very uh, in-demand skill which is using their software to solve business intelligence type problems. Um, a lot of the other companies um, uh, specifically I'm thinking of Procter & Gamble Deloitte's, um, Accenture, uh, are very active in sponsoring student competitions, giving prizes to students at, uh, at our all student event days. Um, and there's, there's lots of other companies I could mention, but uh, 
th that's the kind of support that we're providing. And those are the kind of companies that students are getting face-to-face -face contact with while they're studying on the ITMB degree.